Hey, 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 good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? So I'm excited to be here with you guys today. We're gonna have some good, we're gonna have, we're gonna do a look. I'm gonna leave you with, I just remembered that I need to leave you with, um, I got, I picked up a couple new pictures that I thought were awesome. Some, some little motivation for us today as well too. So, um, okay, so we are going to do a, um, Pumpkin spice look. That is the look of the today. You guys ready for this? Let me show you. This is the look. This is the look that we're going to be trying. So let me grab um, a couple, couple pictures that I wanted to. Okay. Yes. We're going to do that. All right. Now I'm going to make sure. Oh, are you guys on? Yay. Okay. I wasn't sure if my space book was working today. So we're going to do this. All right. So we are doing pumpkin spice look, and this is, we're using a lot of burnished bronze in a lot of these looks. So we're using burnished bronze, shiny penny, candlelight, and biscotti. You can see that I use biscotti a lot because you can see the bottom of my eye color, okay? All right, so let's let's get into it. How are you guys doing today? You having a great day? Oh, it's Thursday. Is it Thursday? What day is it? Day? It's Wednesday. I have been a day off. A day off, which is good because it feels like I have an extra day. So I'm always thinking it's day ahead. So as normal, we're going to be using the Pale Blush Cream Eyeshadow. And I apologize. I haven't been with you in a couple days. So, all right. And again, I put on a couple new diamonds for you to check out. That was my second one that I, I think that was the second one that I ever earned. Yeah, very exciting. Um, so we're going to use a little bit of Pale Blush underneath. And again, the reason why I'm using the Pale Blush is and again i'm putting this right on my eyelid and maybe just a swipe above so basically where i'm going to put that just biscotti okay so we're going to cover this look we're going to cover this look with um cover this look with the, the the colors that we're trying today all right um we're going to use let's let's pull out these little itty bitty brushes again um a part of the little mini brush collection that they have available this is the eyeshadow brush okay and it's basically the same thing as your all over all over brush. Um, it's just you can see that there's a little bit of a size different. That's it. Okay. All right. So you like my shirt today? I'm a queen. We're all queens. I know. I should turn this one on. A little bit more light. All right. So we're gonna use this biscotti. We're gonna use the biscotti, and we're gonna put this one all over our eyelid. Okay. So we're gonna put it all over your eyelid, and then a swipe above had a really great night. So you guys, did you guys know I've got a lot of things to do today for you guys, for my customers. I've got a drawing to do, um, some recognition. Oh yeah. We are in double credit month. Did I share that with you? Double credit, double credit, which means, um, your consultant, everything that she sells counts double in the company. So, you know, earning your very first diamond ring, I, this one, I, I don't know if you've seen this one. Yeah. That one there. Those have quartz in them, quartz and diamond. That's a pretty one too. Yeah, so a couple ones that you probably haven't seen before. I thought I would just keep switching it up for you guys. I know, whole things. Um, all right, so the second color that we're going to do is candlelight. And candlelight is also is a color that um, is used a lot for highlighting. And if you are a spun silk user, candlelight is going to be your option. Honey spice or candlelight, basically the same color because uh, it's got that shimmer to it. But another color that the company came out with that I actually use a lot in spun silk because I didn't think they'd ever get rid of spun silk. Never. The reason is it's because I joined Mary Kay and spun silk was available. That's been 18 years ago. And before then, I, you know, I, I still remember I had it in my very first palette when I was 14. I joined when I was 22. So we're looking at a color that was probably with us for 25 years. So I was really shocked that they got rid of the candlelight or cut rid of spun silk, but candlelight, totally going to be your option. Good morning, guys. Oh, love to have you guys on. Have a conversation with me. Yeah, tell me what you're up to today. All right, so those are the first two colors, really light, um, you know, nice colors. So the other part of the pumpkin spice look, okay, so I have a question for you. Are you like all things PSL? I have a girlfriend that talks PSL and I'm like, what is PSL? And she goes, Heather, you don't know what PSL is. I'm like, no, what is that acronym for? She says, pumpkin spice latte. And I'm like, 
now I know what PSL is. <laughs> so anytime I see anything pumpkin spice, I'm always like, hey, I'm thinking about you today. All right, so we're using the eye crease bar brush. Remember, so the first time I used it, I hated this brush. And then I had to flip it 180 degrees. And then I liked it. Because what we're going to do with this color is we're going to put that tip of this brush right here. And we're going to, uh, when I say right here, so like where the crease of your eye is, okay? Um, and some of you have definitely, you know, different definition of eyes than I do. Um, if you have more of a hooded eye, you're going to need to go up higher than you think is normal because we're looking at helping to define your crease. So we're going to start from the outside first and work our way in. And the reason is because where you first put the brush is where the majority of the color is going to land. If you put it here, you're going to have a blob of color. If you have a blob of color here, we can blend it definitely a lot easier. So... All right, so we are going to put this color on, and we're gonna we're gonna layer this one, and just so you know, we're gonna try some lip gloss as well too. Okay, we're gonna try one of these new lip gloss colors. In my favorite color, it's tawny nude. I'm gonna share share with you all the things. So we're going to just and what I'm doing. Let me go a little slower here. Is I'm not going straight across my eye. I'm actually having a little bit of an arcing motion. And you actually apply this color with your eyes open. Because one of the things I learned from Lori Hogg is she said, you don't want to go do this with your eyes closed because we don't walk around with our eyes closed, okay? So if you can kind of find where you're putting this, oh gee, and keep your eyes open, then you can act, you know, you, you're gonna see the kind of definition that you're going to create. I saw a pink one north of Maine and Epping yesterday. Really? Cool. Good morning, Jessica. Loving these tutorials. I'm glad that you are. Was I? I don't think I was. I don't think I was. I wasn't in. Uh, I saw a pink one north of Epping. Oh, yeah, I was. I was in. Uh, yeah, I drive around Epping in my little pink car. You know, it's kind of a pink beacon on wheels. It was kind of fun. One of my friends, he goes, you want you, you drive around and you're, you never wave to me. You're so stuck up. And I'm like, Buddy, I'm so sorry. I'm not stuck up. I promise you. It's just I'm driving a pink beacon. And then when you live in North Dakota, we wave at everybody. Before the boom happened, pre-2008, I could actually, you know, look at the headlights and tell you who was coming down the road because we just knew each other. We all knew each other. It was awesome. One of the things I love about living rural. Okay, so we, we're going to use burnished bronze next. Got it? So a little bit of burnished bronze. We're going to use this torpedo brush. Michael, I bet you're getting all, you're just learning all the things about, um, <laughs> learning all the things about um, eye color today. There you have it. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this in the outer. If you think of it like it's a little triangle area, got to go for a blood driving ray. Have a good day. You too, friend. You too. All right. I suppose, um, did they call out the ambulance for that? that um i know there was a, um, a vehicle accident over by that was not good well oh, i saw the vehicle the next morning not good not good cry everybody was okay all right we're gonna put this on the other side as well too i know mike keeps trying to to get me to join the uh, volunteer ambulance department <sighs> probably one of these days one of these days after the kids definitely get a little bit more grown so okay and just so you know if you're watching from different areas um we basically all of our emergency services for the most part are volunteer so we have a volunteer fire department um that actually my my has i was actually on the volunteer fire department until you know pre-2010 um, I stepped down in 2009. So from when we moved to Epping in 02 to 09, I was actually on the volunteer fire department. And many a times it would be me and another fellow going out to, you know, fires. It was crazy. Um, but my husband is on the is on volunteer fire department right now. Okay, so we're going to darken this up just a tish. And then all of our emergency services, our ambulance departments are volunteer in the local smaller areas. So we, re we rely very heavily on volunteers. All right, there we have it. Okay, so far so good? All right, so far so good. All right, now what? Okay, we need to blend these colors. 
I may be streaming to areas that I haven't done before. Now this brush here, I'm kind of excited about. We've needed a brush like this for a long time. It's called an eye blender, eye blender brush, okay? So basically what we're doing, just back and forth, back and forth. I was saying, I was saying, when in doubt, blend it out, okay? So, you know, no worries. If you ever feel like you've gone, you know, um, it's like too dark, um, cool thing. If you wear glasses, don't worry. You're going to lose, you're going to diffuse some of that color through, you're going to lose some of the intensity of it because you just wear glasses. So I would actually encourage you to actually go a little bit darker. Um, but if you're kind of going, dude, way too dark, way too dark. Here's kind of a fun tip. You can actually take that lighter color. We're going to take some sparkle because my inner redneck says I need a little bit more sparkle. Okay. And we're just going to go over the top of that and you can just like really truly just blend down those colors. Okay. All right. Oh, very natural. You know, we work, us women, we work very hard to look this natural. I know. Okay. Oh, I said I was going to use deep brown eyeliner. I better be a woman of my word. Okay. So we're going to use a little eyeliner. I know. Fun stuff. All right. So here's the crazy one thing about eyeliner is you want to avoid stretching, okay? One thing is we have a little connective tissue that keeps everything nice and tight right here. And when you stretch it, what happens to a rubber band when you stretch it over and over again? Gets loose, right? Same concept. When we stretch it over and over again, that area gets loose. We want to keep this nice and tight. And the best thing I can tell you, whether you're a man or a woman, if you don't want any of these crow's feet, use yourself a good eye cream. I love a good eye cream. For the men, we actually have um, a men's eye cream. And I'm currently using this right now because I, I, you know, sometimes I forget what it's all about. So I, you know, I pull out a new tube and I try it. So, yep. Now, if you were to ask me, does my man use it? That's a different conversation. So. So in North Dakota, are you like seriously loving the temperatures? OMG. Holy schmoly. They're so awesome. Like my kids aren't wearing jackets to school yet. And it is October the 7th. I'm like so giddy. There have been times that we actually had to plan our Halloween costumes <laughs> to go over snowsuits. I know it's a real thing. Okay. All right. We're going to use this little brush here. This one is an eye detail brush, and I'm just going to use this one to go ahead and just blend this out. Yeah. You know, again, because if you have like those little um, streaks and things like that in it, it's kind of blender. All right. Now what? If you ever just do that, go, what next? Oh, yeah. The brows. Let's do the brows. You guys ready for these? Okay. Okay. We're going to go against the grain. Can't do this hairs in the way against the grain straight up right back into place against the grain okay y'all know this little thing right here the chia pet her name is sue her evil twin brother lou right besides above my i just get rid of them i just do okay while we're waiting for that i'm going to put on a little um lip primer i love our lip primer i use it just honestly i just use it once a day so it helps keep those um your lipstick from feathering and bleeding but what i'm loving it's got anti-aging in it as well too so it's going to help some of the lines on our lips kind of because everybody's lips are so different some people have a lot of texture some people do not um so i i want to keep the texture at bay all right i think this is it anyway oh a little bit of brow liner so when it comes to your brows, you want to do the shade of your brows or a shade lighter. Okay. And best thing I can, I was not a brow person for a long time. So we're going to just do short strokes all in that. Like I always call this like the bulb area. I don't know why I call it the bulb area, but yeah. So you kind of do heavier short strokes right there. And then as you go out to the edges, you do longer strokes. Okay. Now, what color should you use when it comes to your brows? Again, shade of your brows or a shade lighter. So I actually use a brunette brow pencil because my, my hair um, is quite dark. I probably could do like a dark blonde or a blonde, but I probably wouldn't get like 
the intensity that I'm looking for when it comes to my brows. And then a little better brow, brow tint. Now remember my mom, I love this. I use, I love stories. I remember my, I sold this to my mom and my mom goes, Heather, why do I have Groucho Marx brows? And I'm like, mother, <laughs> did you wipe off the excess? And she's like, no. I said, there you go. That's how you do it. So you just kind of start in the center, go to the end, back to the front. And what brow tint does is like, if you um, have, you have brows, but they're very, they're like non-existent, like clear. What it's going to do is the volumizing brow tint does just that. It grabs onto those little hairs and gives you the volume that you're looking for. Okay. A little bit of lash primer. So remember, um, I've got little stickers, little stickers on my brow, my mascara so that I know when to replace them. Now, in reality, I don't only need to replace this every three months, but I do replace um, this with my mascara every three months. And I also replace my blending sponge, the heads off the top of my, my Skin Vigore cleansing brush and my toothbrush because all those things need to be replaced every three months. Um, the other thing is, is if you're using a lash curler, a lash curler, you know, you want to replace those pads. I think they say every three months, but I was talking with my girlfriend last night and she actually replaces hers every month because she can just feel them, feel them. Needing to re be replaced. And they come with three sets of pads. So then every three months, she's actually giving herself a new um, brow tool or lash tool. So what else is happening here in Epping? Well, if you haven't, if you didn't go over to my personal page, you will have seen that we had a little itty bitty version of Buffalo Trails Days on this weekend. And I actually did a Facebook Live of the parade because I was the MC, which I love doing that sort of stuff. I know some people go, Heather, you're so crazy. And I'm like, I know, but I love doing that. And my son, it was so fun. It was so fun. My son, I said, to Marshall, I'm going to have you do uh, the videoing. So if you actually listen, you actually hear my son giving you like a play by play of all the cars coming by. It was super cool. Really super cool. Okay. While I'm letting this dry a little bit, I'm going to do my lips. So what I'm using is medium new lip liner. And this is like my new love right now. I just, I'm loving this one. Okay. And why I put this on is because lip liner is a drier product. So, you know, as all the different layers of lips color come off, um, you know, you still have some color on your lips. Now you'd be like, Heather, do you like those all day stay wears? We had one last fall and I, tr I gave it a good try. But what happened was, is that if you didn't have really good exfoliated lips, and as we get into winter time, it's really hard to keep in a lip exfoliated. Did you know that your lips can't naturally exfoliate themselves? That's why you want to use our lip scrub. But I dealt with such dry lips that I was just like, it would it would start to crack and just not look pretty. So I'm not, a personally, I'm not a fan of, of the all day wear lip glosses. And I don't mind reapplying. I really don't. Because I want some moisture on my lips. Now, again, if you are like struggling with the drag glide, with lip gloss dragging across your lip, I didn't realize this was a thing. No more drag glide, which is very exciting. They go really nicely and really smooth. And you're gonna love, you gotta love this. This is my holder. Can you tell a cur jar? I know, my, uh, <laughs> my inner uh, North Dakota girl is definitely showing. Okay, we'll do some mascara and we're gonna call it a day. Now, at this point, I do have some additional looks that I'm gonna be playing with. And just so you know, I'm gonna have a special guest on Friday. I know we're doing two looks at the same time. You have no idea how excited I am. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of this. So this is my ultimate black brown mascara. Dang it. You ever get mascara on your skin? You're like, darn it. Darn it. Okay. So the biggest thing is I just need to have patience. And my mom would always sing this song to me. Do you guys recognize this? Have patience, have patience. Don't be in such a hurry. <laughs> Every time I do that, I'm like, oh. Okay. Let's see if we can do this other side here. 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? It is Wednesday of an awesome week. Very exciting stuff here. Very exciting stuff here, Maynard. Okay. So do you guys know the, the story of my daughter's name? Okay. So I always say, hey, Maynard, or good stuff, Maynard. And people are like, my name's not Maynard. I know, I know. It's just a saying. But um, so as a kid growing up, my grandfather, he would always say, hey, Charlie, my name's not Charlie. My name is Heather. Oh, I'm sorry, Charlie. So I, you know, just as it's just a very short memory. But when I decided to have my kids, I actually did not like the name Marshall. That is the name of my son. My husband loved the name Marshall. Now, I love it. No, I do. But at, to begin with, I had thought about Conrad or, you know, some of those oldie names. Actually, oh, thank you. Doing great. I, I see you as a Facebook user. I don't actually see who you are. So if you could, you know, go out and, you know, hit that loud stream here to see your name, then I can actually see you. Um, let's see. What else? Anyway, so the Charlie. So he named our son. And I figured it's a son. You should name him. I know I carried the kid in my belly for not 10 months, but still. So the second one, I'm like, this one's mine. So whether it was a girl or a boy, her name was going to be Charlie. And people are like, oh, do you spell it L-E-I-G-H or L-E-E? -E? I'm like, no, just regular Charlie. So, and actually the only reason I ever thought, considered it is I met a woman and she was one of the most beautiful women I've ever met. And her name was Charlie. And I was just giddy. Now, Knowing that I named basically a girl, a boy's name, you know, people are like, how are your two boys? And I just roll with it. That's what I get. And it's all good. It's all good. So, okay, there you have it. So we did, let me fix the hair so you can see it. And I'll put some pictures up here on the, on the Facebook and on the gram in the Instagram. Um, but yeah, so this is the pumpkin spice look that we did today. So I'm really liking these last couple brown looks because I've done a spot pumpkin spice similarly. Um, but you know, not with, you know, this, I don't want to say this light, but this is a really great goldy type look. I love it. And just so you know, shiny penny, shiny penny on, on blue eyes really makes your blue eyes just pop. So this would be a really good look for blue eyed people. Okay. So that is what we got. Now let me let me go out here real quick and leave you with something because my goal is to always leave you with something that makes you think. So I'm going to leave you with three things because I thought it was really great. You guys ready for this? Okay. The trees are about to show us how lovely it is to let things go. I needed to hear that today. How many how many times do I hold on to something and it serves serves me? it serves me nothing. The other part of with fall is notice how the trees do not cling to their leaves. Fall is about releasing the old and making way for the new. Like it. And last but not least, I thought this was awesome. There is no one giant step that does it. It's a lot of little steps. So today, as, as you are making your way through this incredible week, know that just all the little steps put together uh, are going to create the life that, that, that you're wanting to live. And know, know this, you're living your best life today. You're living the life, you're living the life that other people have dreamt about. So keep living it out. And remember, there's no giant steps, just a lot of little steps. So until we get together again, I've got some other looks to do, um, but I wanted to leave you with the pumpkin spice look. So for right now, if I do another look, um, it's going to be another, let's see, hold on. Let me share with you the next look that I'm looking at doing. Um, I actually had a request. If you have a request, you let me know. Um, it is Sand Castle Cinnabar Moss and Crystalline. It is called Caramel Apple. So we'll have to try out the Caramel Apple look tomorrow. All right. You guys have a really great day. Know that I love and adore you. And make it a beautiful Wednesday. We'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Well, let me see here. I'll talk to you soon.